religion cannot be a part of our future. say probably 1990 or 91 or somewhere in there I was having a conversation with my aunt and uncle that would be my mother's brother and his wife then they had two girls those were my cousins my aunt and uncle were extremely religious people like fully religious what you know uh lutheran so i don't know what that's equivalent to it's not like any wacky religion like but they were just seriously or probably still are seriously religious right the reason this story just came to my head because today uh the government just released a uh just released research that says that global warming's here, climate change is here, we're already feeling the consequences of our actions, and that it's only going to get worse. So, and it's like, as far as I'm concerned, I've known this since 1990 or 91. It's, this is not news to me. This is like, yeah, I know it. We're totally going to be we don't change the way we do sh like lickety split and this was in 1990 <laughs> so I'm having a conversation about it with my aunt and uncle and guess what they had gone to a church function that had a scientist speak about how global warming was a lie and it was not and <laughs> how could you little peon humans change the planet this is the god that's the god's job the god controls all this you little you little peon people don't you think for a second that your behavior affects this planet's atmosphere climate at all not for one second just wipe the okay look where the money sent the disinformation campaign they sent it to the freaking churches man they sent scientists to churches to lie to people that are already living in a f lie okay if you're like thinking there's this f whole like every f church if you're any church you're living a f lie period giant exclamation point you're living in a f fantasy world okay so now it makes you more susceptible to other lies and deceit, all right? You're easily f duped, you fucking religious people. That's the problem we have. We had a bunch of people propelled by capitalist drive send people to go lie to other people. And then all those people have worked against any sort of change for the past 28 years, okay? Why do you think I am so disgusted with religion? Why do you think religion cannot be a part of our future? There is no religion today that has anything figured out at all. I'm not saying that there's nothing going on. I'm saying that all these religions are all a lie and that's where lies fester and manifest into actual people dying, right? Climate change, had it gotten nipped in the bud in 1990, wouldn't be 
such a big deal in 2018. But guess what? Thanks, religious people, you f***ing idiots. And you know, I know this firsthand because I, I, I was there the whole time and I had the conversations with the people, my aunt and uncle, and they were freaking, you know, my uncle's a very educated man. How smart he is, I don't know, but he is very educated, right? The guy worked in nuclear. He worked in nuclear submarines, and then he worked in the Trojan nuclear plant that we had in Oregon that we voted to shut down. And now I think the last time I had talked to him, which is the last time which I heard or from it was decades, you know, he was up in Hanford working on that decommissioning of uh, whatever was going on there, okay? Super smart guy. Super educated guy because you can be educated all you want. You're going to let some scientist at a church thing tell you some shit. Yeah. I mean, my opinion of his intelligence after that conversation, I voted to shut that, that place down. And my uncle worked there. It was built in the wrong spot. If something goes wrong, right next to a river, it's not good. So, I'm not opposed to nuclear. I am opposed to heavy water. I am pro thorium molten salt reactors. So, nuclear can be amazing as long as it's not a capitalist venture. Yeah, so I, this guy that, that works in nuclear plants and nuclear submarines and all this stuff, let some religious bullshit. And they gave him his, his opinion, right? And they gave millions upon millions upon millions. I mean, this was a whole campaign that went on back then. It wasn't just this one church that my aunt and uncle happened to be at. No. These people were at churches across the country. They were financed big time by big oil. Like, imagine your job is just to go around and talk to people. Yeah, go talk, and they probably paid these, these people are probably multi, multi-millionaires for their, for their lies to all these religious people back in the day that just was enough to slow it down, to plant that, so maybe it's not real, well, maybe it's not real. Anybody that says climate change is not real, Corbett, you two, in, you two included, buddy. As much as I love the Corbett report, I don't know what planet that dude's on. I mean, he pulls out some very intriguing research or whatever, but the bottom line is, is I've lived in the same place my whole life and witnessed the climate change. Oh, if that's natural, no, okay? So, all these people that deny it are just cuckoo bad shit nuts. And they're gonna be the end of us all. Ah, so discouraging. They started coming out with the science in the late 80s and the 90s, but meanwhile the science was like from the 50s. They were just releasing it. Like all these oil companies knew exactly what the was going to happen and they didn't care because capitalism. So that's where we are. We got some rich assholes that are living a real nice lifestyle because they lied to a bunch of religious people and the religious people living a lie already bought into the other lie you know you can sell religious people anything you know i used to uh, in prison i used to watch i called it the the christian hustle the religious hustle you'd see people come in they ain't got sh they're out on the streets doing stupid shit, and then they get into prison and they ain't got a thing pot to piss in nothing so what do they do they become religious and they suckle up to some other religious person that has money and they live off them and oh they go to all the religious things and they just get all the handouts and all the then they go back out in the streets and they're right back to doing their up lives so 
I've seen just like the ugliest sides of all that shit. And that's where I get my opinions from. Okay? Now, there's a lot of ugly shit in religion. Pedophiles, wars, lies, okay? Right up to current day shit where pedophiles, yeah, current day shit, still, still going on, been going on forever, haven't been able to figure that one out, apparently they can't stop the religious people from raping the kids. Are you kidding me? Wow, yeah. But we need a drug war. Like seriously, let's get certain things right before we take on all this other shit, right? Like we can't even stop priests from raping kids, but you want to stop everybody from doing drugs? Are you kidding me? This isn't new. These have been doing it. Okay? So, oh, because some people feel warm and fuzzy thinking about the Jesus, we need to have all this other bullshit. Yeah? Fuck you get your warm and fuzzy feeling someplace else. That's all I gotta say. Religion, 